So the next question is ninth question A part write short notes on 4 by 4 binary parallel multiplication it is asked from August September 2020 okay. So for binary parallel multiplication what do you require you require a multiplicand and a multiplier right. So for the example we have taken as 1101 that is number 13 as your multiplicand and your multiplier as 1011 that is 11 because it is a 4 by 4 4 bit binary number okay. So multiplicand is 1101 and multiplier is 1011. So this gives the overall block diagram of your parallel multiplier okay. So what are the three main units you have one is your control unit second one is your accumulator okay which consists of 8 bits and an extra bit and the uh, next third part is your uh, adder okay so 4 bit adder. So these are the main three blocks of your block diagram of your parallel multi multiplier. So the multiplication of the 4 bit num numbers require what are the three requirements you will require a 4 bit multiplicand register. So multiplicand is 4 bits right 1101 1, 1. so you want a register for it similarly you want a multiplier that is a 4 bit multiplier register and a, in order to store the product the overall product now has to be stored right so this will be your overall product 8 bit product uh, will be has to be stored in a product register so you require a 8 bit register for product uh, storing okay so uh, these are the requirements of a 4 bit um, multiplier so now this product register is nothing but the accumulator itself which stores the values of the partial products that is in if 1101 is multiplied by 1011 you will be having the intermediate uh, products right so 1101 into 1 will give you again 1101 all those intermediate uh, products are called as your uh, partial products okay now the adder input will be having the adder uh, will be having two inputs one will be your inputs from the accumulator and the other will be the multiplicand multiplicand input okay so these are the two inputs to the adder now what is basically happening here is this accumulator will be uh, acting as a storage for both your partial products your sum as well as your multiplier so this multiplier that is 1011 will be stored to your lowermost 4 bits of your accumulator. So 0123 will be stored what will be the value 1011. So 1011 will be stored here. The multiplier value will be stored and this accumulator the highest bit MSB is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 will be, will be storing the sum value. Okay and your uh, carry value the carry which is generated from your adder will be given to your will be stored as your 8 bit. So the next important part here is your control unit the control unit will be having three signals that is your load shift and add. So what is the use of this load signal is it loads the when you have a load signal with the uh, along with the clock rising edge what will happen the multiplier data will be stored on to the lower four bits of the accumulator that is the use of this load what is the use of this shift that in the rising edge of the clock the datas of the accumulator will be shifted one shift to the right okay during the next clock also. so this is what the use of shift signal the last one is your add signal what what is your the use of the add signal once you get the add signal the adder output that is the output of this adder will be stored onto your 7, 6th and 5th and 4th bit of your accumulator and the 8th bit will be your carry will be stored okay. So these are the different functions of your load shift and uh, add signals okay. So now uh, let us go on to the example. So there basically how is it working is if you're, 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 you will be first storing the multiplier if the multiplier value is equal to 1 if m is equal to 1 you have two cases okay one is m is equal to 1 or m is equal to 0 if the multiplier is equal to 1 then you will be performing the add operation along with the shift operation first addition will be done and then add will be done if your m multiplier bit is equal to 0 then it skips the add signal and it only does the shift signal are the two cases which is uh, done by means of which you are getting going to get the product okay so let us do it now by means of uh, your example 1101 1, and 1011 1, 1. finally you will be getting the product 143 which will be stored in the accumulator okay so this shows you the contents of the registers okay 
so what will be your initial contents of the product register so initial contents of the product register your uh, eighth so this will be your seventh bit eight six five four three two one zero okay so initially what is happening you are going to load once you get the load signal what will happen two actions will be done the multiplier will be stored in the lower bits and the uh, msb that is your higher order other five bits will be cleared so your 8th, 7th, 6th, 5th and 4th bit will be 0, 0, 0 and your multiplier. So in this case, your example, the multiplier is equal to 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 will be stored in the lowermost 4 bits of your accumulator. Okay. Now, now it will check. Now M is equal to the rightmost bit is equal to 1, right? If M is equal to 1, what it will perform? It will perform both your add. After adding, it will perform your shift signal also. So now your multiplicand will be added. If m is equal to 1, what will be ha uh, happening? Towards the 7, 6, 5, 4, the multiplicand will be added, right? Add multiplicand because m is equal to 1. Since m is equal to 1, you are going to add the multiplicand. 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay. Now these two first will be your addition operation. So you will be performing the addition. After addition, what you will be getting? Your multiplier remains the same. Now you are going to add this to 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 1, 1. So you here you have 0. So this will be your uh, accumulator uh, data. Now, now once after performing the addition, what, what it will perform? The, it will perform the shift operation because m is equal to 1. 1 means addition and shift. Now it will be shifting 1 bits to the right. So what will happen? You will be having this 0 to be shifted here, 1 to be shifted here, 1, 1 shift to the right. Okay. So this is what done here. Now you will be having the second date of the multiplier. Right. Now it will check. Again now m is equal to again 1. So if m is equal to 1, what will be happening? You are going to add a multiplicand again because m is equal to 1. So again 1, 1, 0 will be added. So always this multiplicand will be added to 7th, 6th and 5th and 4th bit. There is no change. Okay. So 1, 1, 0, 1 will be added. Now again the same process. After addition, you have to do the addition and after addition you have shift. Now what will be happening? 1, 0, 1 will be as such. Uh, then 1 will be as such. Now you are going to add these two. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1, 1, 0. Right. 0, 1 will be carry. Again, here you will be having 1 plus 1, carry plus 1. So, 1, 0, 0, carry will be 1. So, 1 will be, you will be getting. So, this is after your addition. After addition, what, what is the next procedure? You are going for your shift. So, now again your shift operation. So, 1, 1 right shift. 0 will go here, 0 will go here, 1 will go here, 1, 1, 1, 0. Now, your multiplier has got the next third bit. Now, your m is equal to 0. So, if m is equal to 0, you are not going to add. So, you are going to skip the add. See, skip addition because m is equal to 0. Now, only you are going to do the shift. So, these data, you are going to shift it once again. Now, what will happen? 0 will be shifted here. 1 will be shifted here. 0, 0, 1, shift, right. Okay. So, your multiplier will get the last bit. So what will, what will be a last bit? Last bit again is equal to 1. So if m is equal to 1, again go for the, again the same uh, process. After you will be doing addition and shift. So add multiplicand. Again multiplicand will be added. Now you are going to add this to 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 0, 0. So here 1 plus 1, 1, 0. Carry will be here. Here also 1, 0. So carry will be 1. So after addition you will be getting 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. The, all the remaining will be same. 1, 1, 1, 1. Now after addition, you are going to perform again shift operation. So 1 will be shifted, right shift operation 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. Now what is this green line signifying is? It is the signifying dividing the line between. So it dividing line between product and the multiplier. So you know that multiplier will always be 1, 0, 1, 1, right? So it is there to separate your multiplier. So first you have 4 bits. Now you have 3 bits. Now you have 2 bits. Then you have first, last bit. So that is how 2 bits then 1 bit. It goes on. So in order to separate your product and the multiplier. Finally what will be your product? So this will be your after shift. This will be your signal which is uh, in the accumulator. So this will be your final product. Okay. Which is equal to 1000111 which is nothing but 143. 
Now here in addition to this here you have one more now you have explained about your accumulator uh, your adder and now the next all everything is controlled by your control unit right now you have to uh, just see what is the working principle of your control unit also so best it is explained by means of your your state diagram so state graph for multiplier so here first you are initially assuming that the multiplier the control uh, uh, signal is in the state s naught so once you have the start signal only your control unit will get activated okay so s naught so it remains in the reset state s naught until and unless you have your start is equal to 1 so your output is equal to 0 when your S, st dash st dash means your start is equal to 0 if start is equal to 0 it will remain in your s naught itself when start is equal to 1 what will happen it will give you a load signal so what is meant by load signal it has two operations it will load your multiplier value along with that it will clear the upper higher order bits 5 bits okay so now when it is start is equal to 1 it will go to your next stage that is your s1 so in s1 what will happen it will check for your lsb of the m is tested so if it will check whether m is equal to 1 or m is equal to 0 if m is equal to 1 what you will be having then you have add and your shift signal first it will do the addition it will go to your state s2 from s2 during the next clockwise what will happen this slash sh means it is shift signal it will continue the process that is the meaning okay it is continuing the process continuing the process so the process so after add it will do the shift signal right shift then it will go to the next stage s3 suppose if m is equal to uh, 0 then what it will do it will it will skip the add right so it will not do the addition it will directly go to the shift state that is why here m dash bar shift so m dash means m is equal to 0 that is a meaning now once it has reached the s3 again the same process will happen what will happen now if m is it, is it will again test for the next lsb if m is equal to 1 then what it will do it will do add and shift signal then it will switch to the state s4 and then to s5 if m is equal to 0 it will directly go to your s5 because it skips the add signal then the next bit it will check so if m is equal to one what will what it will do again it will do the add and shift so it will jump to two states s6 and s7 if m is equal to 0 what uh, what it will do from s5 it will go directly to your s7 now from s7 what it, again it will check further that is now it has become the last data right so the last data it will check last lsb if m is equal to 1 again it will do the add and again shift or if m is equal to 0 it will go to your s9 directly so it parallelly it will check the control unit will check for your number of shift also here it is 4 bit right so it will check for 4 shift once if 4 shift is over what it will here you have 4 shifts done right so 1 2 3 and 4 so once you have your four, this fourth shift so four shift is being done it will uh, the control unit will understand that that now the process is done over so it will go for your termination so this slash bar done is your termination and it will go to your reset re, reset state so these are the different operation of your control state graph of your control bit so this is your working principle of 4 by 4 multiplier which you can write it for 8 marks or 10 marks